I'm Clara Silverstein, and I'm going to show you how to make a peach berry crisp. In here, I'm going to start, I've got the peaches all cut up. There are four cups of peaches that I've peeled. I'm going to put them in the mixing bowl, along with a cup of blueberries. And you don't have to use blueberries. You can also use blackberries or raspberries, whatever's in season. The idea is that it's a fruit that's already there. You don't have to cut this part up. So you mix it together. And then um, you can add sugar because that just kind of helps make the whole thing sweeter. This is about just a tablespoon of sugar. And what I like to add most is uh, about a tablespoon of chopped crystallized ginger. And crystallized ginger is a great ingredient for if you want to use ginger in a recipe and don't want to take the trouble of peeling it and grating it. You can just chop it up. It has a great flavor. It is sugary, but not so much that it ruins the ginger flavor. And the British really like to pair ginger with uh, peaches, so that's kind of where I came up with the idea. So you put it all together, mix it up in a mixing bowl until everything's kind of well blended. And then you're going to put it in an 8 by 8 inch baking pan. This I've already buttered, and um, so it just goes right together like this. Peaches are kind of an interesting ingredient because um, they're not native to the United States. We all think of Georgia peaches, but they're actually native to China. And traders brought them into Persia, that's in East Asia. And then they went from there to Europe and then to the United States. And now, of course, they're famously grown in Georgia. But they're also grown all up and down the East Coast. So when you get the fruit together, you're going to just kind of spread it evenly with the back of a spoon, try to make sure everything's evenly distributed. Sometimes that's hard. The berries tend to want to stick together. But that's what you do. And then you're ready for the topping. So this can come together pretty quickly. What you're doing is taking some brown sugar, about a half a cup. You can add a little less to taste, but that's about right. A quarter cup of flour to just help everything come together. And then a half a cup of oats. And these are not the instant oatmeal that you get in a packet. That's great for the microwave, but it's not so good for cooking. It doesn't really hold its body at all. So um, these are the oats. And then I've got two tablespoons of toasted chopped. These are pecans, but you could use walnuts. You could also use pistachios if you have them. That's the nice thing about a recipe like this, as I mentioned before. It's flexible. So that just adds a little bit of flavor. And then what would a fruit crisp be without a little cinnamon? So I've got a, tablespoon of, a teaspoon of cinnamon right here. And then just a little bit of salt. You could measure maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. I just throw in a little dash. Um, that salt always brings out the flavors of everything, even in something sweet. So then what you do is you take these ingredients and mix them together. A fork works really well if you've got clumps of brown sugar. And uh, just get everything nicely mixed. But you're going to be mixing the butter in as well. So that'll also help break up the lumps. So after you mix it up, the next thing you're going to do is add some butter. And this is a half a stick of butter. It's four tablespoons. And I just cut it up into smaller pieces. It's helpful to leave it out of the refrigerator for maybe a half an hour. You don't want it to get too mushy. But it's nice so that it's not rock hard also or it won't blend in. And for this one, the easiest way to do this is to use your fingers. I know sometimes people are kind of squeamish about working with their fingers, but that's actually part of the fun of working with food. So what you're going to do is take the butter and just squeeze it together with your fingers. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, it reminds me of making mud pies as a kid. Um, and you just keep working it until the whole thing comes together. It looks like wet sand which also, I guess, is putting me in the mind of the mud pies or the sand castles at the beach. But that's the best way I can think of to describe it. 
So this is pretty much what it looks like when you're all done. You can see it's all come together. It's not really gritty anymore. And it does look like wet sand. So um, you'll know you're done when there are no pieces of it that are um, loose. It's all together. So then what you're going to do is, since your hands are already dirty, why not? Just take some and distribute it evenly over the fruit. And you don't have to cover the fruit all the way. Um, it's nice to have a little bit that um, shows the fruit coming through, and the fruit will bubble up when it's cooked. So that's absolutely fine. So you just distribute it around the top. And make sure you get the corners. Sometimes it's easy to overlook those. So now when the topping is all on, you're ready to bake. And you're going to be baking this at 350 degrees for about half an hour. What you want to see is that the topping is turned brown and the fruit is bubbling up around the sides and a little bit through the center. And then you'll know it's done. So here's the crisp. It's out of the oven, but you don't want to serve it when it's just come out of the oven because it's literally boiling hot. So you let it cool off for a little while. It's good to make before you start your dinner. Then you can bring it out towards the end after it's been sitting out while you've been eating everything else. And then what you want to do is serve it. You can uh, plate it up. And you can certainly have it with ice cream or whipped cream. You can see it's still warm. And a healthier way to do it is to have it with just a little plain yogurt, because there's plenty of sugar in the crisp. So the plain yogurt is a really nice topping for it. It's a nice contrast. So here I've got a little bit. Just spoon a little bit on top. And there you go. Here's the fruit crisp. Enjoy.